So in the past, a couple of people have asked me about what kind of diagnostic software that I use when um, I'm showing uh, readouts and everything in the videos. And I want to go through and show you a couple of things that I have in my arsenal and um, where you can actually pick these up. Uh, I understand not everybody is going to have access to these kind of tools, but um, I'm going to show you what I have. So the first thing I have is uh, this laptop here, which is a Panasonic CF31 Toughbook. And these Toughbooks you can pick up um, right around two to three hundred dollars. Um, this Toughbook is actually um, was a retired unit from a local sheriff's office, so I picked it up uh, from auction. And on this laptop, I actually run. Uh, a couple different tools. The first one I run is Subaru Select Monitor. Now this is a tool that uh, most people probably won't have full access to um, because it does require um, special equipment. Um, now in order to get this software I purchased this device here. This is called a VX Diag. I'm going to link in the description um, to where I got this but the uh, VX Diag is um, the tool that helps me interface with the Subaru Select Monitor program. Um, and there's just a USB connection on one side that connects to the laptop, and then the other side is a standard uh, OBD connector that interfaces with the vehicle. So this here cost me right around $350, but I use this tool literally all the time. And from this, I can actually go through and um, look at, um, I can actually look at different vehicle systems on here. So I can look at the engine system, transmission, um, if it's an automatic transmission car, cruise control system, if it's some of the newer ones, brake control system on the newer ones, tire pressure monitor on vehicles that are um, 07 and up that have that. Um, integrated unit, these are the body control modules, um, these are airbag sensor systems, um, vacuum pump system for uh, some of the 2008 and newer vehicles, air suspension, AC system, power steering, keyless entry, adaptive cruise control, uh, the list goes on and on on what this actually does. Now this is not going to be compatible with every single vehicle. So uh, not every vehicle is going to have um, these options available to you with it. But the engine control system is usually um, where I start, and that's usually checking check engine lights. I can check the uh, real-time info on uh, vehicle sensors, and then also transmission control if I'm diagnosing an automatic transmission issue. These are the two options that I use the most. Um, you have the ability to program uh, keyless entry on some of the 2005 and up vehicles. Um, you do not have the ability to program keys. The dealer still has to do this. So with this, um, I was able to, it came with the installation disc for this. Um, whether it's legit or not um, remains to be seen, but I use it on a uh, just a computer that is off the network, doesn't connect to the network. Um, so I'm not too worried about uh, security on this laptop because it never connects to the internet. So these two units here are my newest additions to the arsenal. These are uh, retired POS systems. Um, these are going to be used for um, more advanced diagnostics um, than the Subaru Select Monitor. So I have some uh, interesting things that are going to be happening with. The next thing that I have in my toolbox is uh, an OBD Link SX. This is a USB wired adapter um, for reading um, a lot of different vehicle sensors. This is kind of the more basic one compared to the VX Diag that I have. Um, and I have this one here. It also does um, a lot of the advanced uh, CAN bus systems. Um, and I also have an OBD Link MX, which is a Bluetooth version of this exact cable. And the next one I have is my multimeter here, which um, uh, I can diagnose a lot of the electrical systems. Um, and it also has a temperature function, which has this neat little probe 
that you will plug right into this green slot here. And then when you set it to the temperature function, the end of this probe has a temperature sensor on it. And that temperature sensor tells you what the current reading is at the end of the probe. And it only, unfortunately, reads in Celsius, so if you're not, uh, if you don't know Celsius, you'll have to convert to uh, Fahrenheit. Um, so that's kind of the only limitation on that. So that's about it for that. So I have the diagnostic testers, my trusty multimeter, the retired kiosks, which are gonna be going for a uh, advanced diagnostic station. I have the VX Diag and the Panasonic CF31. You guys have any questions about the hardware that you see here? Um, drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks.